I'm going to start off this video with an impression that I grew up with the Nishimon collection as a kid. I grew up with the armor evolving DGA, reliability, sincerity, and courage. I grew up having the Gartumon figure, a posable figure. I grew up having a uh, Impmon to Beelzemon figure with attachable arm cannon. I had an Autumon that turned to Raymon that had the the openable belly which I had with it as a kid. I had the detector card game, a whole bunch of Digimon cards. Including like five or more of those basic Digimon cards for before the detector card game. With one old one with his uh, Kunamon card. Sadly though, those were lost in the move before I even went to Washington. And to be honest, I miss them. But the only remnant of the collection that I have left are the Black D3 Digibyte of Ken Ishijoji from Zero Two. The D Terminal. The Digimon Fusion card. That the only pack of Digimon Fusion heart that I have to rebuild my collection of hearts and collection one of Data Wad which is like the first 13 episodes which is supposed to be collection one so oh and the thick Digimon Tri movie so yeah, this is like my whole collection of Digimon. Oh, not to mention, hold on. Like, stuff like this that I got from Target back when I used to live in the Heights. Both Gatomon and Tentomon. I like Gatomon the most. I got the movie, the try movie, and the Digimon Days Wild Fifth Season Collection One set. So yeah, back with the heart. I got like I got Imperial Digimon Fighter Mode. I got Galmon. I got Galmon Crimson Mode, and one of the old hearts, I had Impmon, I had like a plastic Gartumon card that I always used to like pretend that I was digi modifying ever every time I watched Nishimon Tamer I would be like doing the card flash with this device because because I didn't, like, my mom and I were, like, a little bit too poor to get, like, a D-Power Digivite for Tamer. So, I only had a D3, which, kind of cool. See? Got a little, got them on in there. That is... Yeah, got them on in there. Hey, hi, got them. And so, oh, and one of the Christmases that I got like around 2015 to 2016, 
fat when I was in Prairie Tower. I got this. Attack Crest of Courage. That's completely magnetized. And none like the Attack Crest that you would see on the show. Completely melt, completely magnetized. Just put on, snap on. And it doesn't fall out. I thought this would be a nice thing. But soon I'm going to be game for Christmas is the uh, Got them on plush and a cry a, a crest tag of light. What I'm going to be using in tandem with this and the D terminal. So I can feel like a proper tamer. And yet, both this and this still work to this day. Like, you press the button. You see the spinning Digimon logo. That I kinda like. And the little digi hold up here where you can see the different letters corresponding with the hold. Let's see if I can get here. Name. E E E S G. Let's see if I can get got them on. Down here. Gato. And there you have it. You have got them on. But it also has like a complete encyclopedia of the Digimon from Zero One, Zero Two, the movie, and it also has a game and the fun finale where you can connect it with your Digibyte. I don't know why it like turned on in. But one thing that differs from the anime is this thing. The Digimon logo where the Digimon Link symbol would be. But I thought that was kind of cool. It's a little bit nitpicky for a thing like that, but it's still kind of cool. Now... Oh, yeah, with the D Tetter hard game hard, I also had a few of the hybrid, which is the spirit evolution one for Frontier. I had the Goonimon, I had Burning Raymon, I had Kazumon. I think that was it. But then I have one like Millenniummon. Ugh. So many good cards. And I remember them all, having them all, going through them all, but I lost them all. And being a collector of hearts, I wish I could have kept them sooner. But it, at the same time, I kept with me my pack of Yu Gi Oh! Pokemon, Batman, and Chaotic cards with me. And I still kept those with me throughout all this time. But 
But one thing I didn't have with me were my Digimon cards that I hold dear to and I lost through time. And I should feel so bad that I didn't like hold them with me. If I ever get like a D power or a detector and everyone else gets a D power or a detector, get you my card to you know, somewhere out someone out there probably in like Bismarck, North Dakota or anywhere else are using my card, having them on display, or selling them on eBay to, to share with the rest of the world. So anyway, yeah. Me rambling. I just gotten back to like doing the the digital pet thing again with the Digivice because it's supposed to be kind of like a Tamagotchi thing with the digital pet where you can shake just like the just like the PET where you also shake until random encounter happens. See? They both shake to count for the depth and you can do a random encounter. But the one thing that the that the Digibyte lack what the PT does <coughs> is like the flip function and you can put in a little chip. Like you do in the in the NT Warrior theory. But here's the thing, you when you says count you should shake the shake the device. So So you be able to shake until a random counter comes in. And so you have the option to whether you want to attack or Digivolve with like a DGA or to Ultimate and also have like a party of Digimon at your disposal and it's kind of tedious and I accidentally stumbled upon a random encounter Back in the day when I was like high school, when I actually brought this thing clip to the side of my my pants, so that I would appear just like a fan of Digimon, like back in the day. And by then, David Watt was already working. And, yeah, kind of surprising that. Uh, what did I just do? It found a DJ egg. Was that yet? Oh, 
I think you referred back to Yakuman. He said that I unearthed a dizzy egg. So, it found a dizzy egg. And I'm guessing that... Hold on. I can go back to... I can go back to whatever I found. That is... DJ. Hmm. I'm trying to light it up as best I can. Can't get get lighting on it. I'm sorry. Yeah. So I just uh initiate with it helped me armor evolve. So yeah. I still have a lot to go and I have only a month to go until Christmas. So I'm gonna share that with you in upcoming video for the next month. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video, my collection, me explaining things. And, hope to see you all in the next video. See you later.